So when you see those gangster mob movies, you know, Goodfellas and stuff like that, does that uh, ring true to you, or does it seem, oh, this is BS, or, I mean... How does that and and like stuff like you know Ray Liotta couldn't be made because he was Irish or half Irish or something like that. I was just going to say the Irishman, the movie that is that came out more recently. Two questions. Let me but ask. the same type of movie. <laughs> yeah, come on, Jim. Well, Goodfellas, Goodfellas. There was a lot, a lot of truth in that movie. Um, Nick Pileggi uh, wrote it, was behind it, and he's a type of guy in Hollywood. He goes after the truth. Um, I know him, but uh, that was very well done. You see the part where when you went to the Copacabana and you walked down the stairs in the basement through the kitchen and went in. Mm -hmm. Now, when I was just an associate with the Colombo family, I did that many times. Call my person, go had a table in there, and uh, if I had a date and nobody was going there, I could use it, and I would go down the basement through the kitchen and sit at that table and, and he what a couple of guys. Did you know who the guys portrayed in the film? Did you, did you recognize some of the the, the, the principals? Yeah, sure. Of sure, course. I figured you would. I, I knew them all. Matter of fact, Paul Vario was the boss, the, the heavy set guy. Uh -huh. He was the boss. When he died, me and John Gotti went to his funeral with a bunch of guys. <laughs> so I knew that crew. I didn't know everybody in that crew, but I knew some of them. Um so what was that other question? Oh, what, uh, when you, I was just thinking about the Irishman and a little more of a recent... Well, can you be made if you're not fully no. Italian? Years ago when it first came here, you had to be Italian on both sides. Mm -hmm. But after they were here for years, a lot of them married uh, Jewish women, Irish women, whatever, different women. Right. So they changed that rule to say... You only have to be Italian on your father's end. You carry his name, you are what your father is. Mm. It really didn't work that well because nobody could tell you that you're not influenced by your mom. Uh -huh. You're probably influenced by your mom more than a father. She's there when you're sick, she gives birth to you. I mean, but they did that it's because there was a lot of guys who had, you know, John Gotti, his son, he was married to, I think she's Russian Jew or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so John Jr. is not... Right, not full-blooded. No, and, and that happened a lot. 